tell you one. Butch Robbins was in high school. We came over to Atlas House in Roanoke, in Reno. You know, he wanted to play a band, saw him on TV, came. and Bill drove up there and heard Butch playing and said, what do you do? I'm in high school. Well, when you get out, I want you to play banjo for me. Okay. So two years later, he finished yeah, high school, called me. I said, well, when the next man quits, I'll put you on the list, because I supplied the music for about 10 or 12 years. Yeah. Bill yeah. called me the band. I said, remember that boy was in high school? Yeah, bring him down here. I brought him down here, and they started rehearsing. You know, playing stuff. And in a few minutes, Butch played some scrubs. You know, and got I said, I wouldn't play it that way. <laughs> yeah. Butch, you know, those high school kids. Yeah. A few minutes, he'd seen Reno, just loved Reno, you know. And the next time, he went to the bar call, you know, looked at me and grinned. Uh, got under with that song. said, look, I wouldn't play it that way either. <laughs> A few minutes he did some Sonny Alderman and Munro just stopped in that song and said, I, I just wouldn't play it that way. I said, son, you can't play like nobody else now. You got to play like yourself. How you do that? <laughs> you do that? Munro looked straight at him and said, you learn what everybody else knows and never play it. <laughs> never play it. I hope I get to tell that. Uh, you, you should That's tell good. that one, absolutely. Yeah. You know, you learn yeah. what everybody else knows. Yeah. And there's a lot of truth to that. Yeah. And never play it. At, at Camp Spring.